Regulation seems to be the order of the day. We'll look at how the president is dealing with the Internet in just a moment. But first, here's Chief White House Correspondent Ed Henry on the administration's moves on methane. One day after pledging again to cooperate with Republican leaders, President Obama picked another battle over executive action, this time revealing plans to roll out new regulations aimed at the oil and gas industries as he tries to bolster his legacy on climate change. Since I only got two years in office uh, left, I'm, I'm kind of in a rush. Such a rush that top industry officials charged the move to cut emissions of methane by up to 45% by 2025 is unrealistic and will hammer a recovering economy. It has a chilling effect on our ability to produce the oil and natural gas that we need in this country. What they have done, to, done today is said we're not interested in cleaning the air, we're interested in regulation for the sake of regulation. Officials at the Environmental Defense Fund released this video to show that methane, which leaks from oil and gas wells, has a huge impact on the environment because it's 20 times stronger than carbon dioxide. We're addressing the issue of climate change, but this also represents waste. Uh, the fact of the matter is the industry today emits uh, enough gas to heat six million homes a year. Taking action to reduce these leaks is going to help save energy for the American economy. Industry officials note that voluntary standards they had already adopted were bringing carbon emissions down by 17 percent without the president's intervention. Another kind of one-size-fits-all regulation that's going to have an impact on one of the most innovative industries in the country without any definition of how you achieve it. And the new regulations to be fleshed out this summer will be hitting an oil industry dealing with the fact that while plummeting gasoline prices are welcome new for the public. The consumer will have more income in their pocket. They will suspend it, uh, retail spending, maybe on autos or eating out. Um, so yes, so it's a net positive for the U.S. As, as a whole. Folks along the oil patch are talking about shutting down rigs and possibly cutting jobs. We have been running four rigs uh, most of 2014. Uh, we have already dropped one and gone to uh, three and we will be in the process in, in late February, early March, and we'll go to two. Now, Mark Brownstein of the Environmental Defense Fund told me that a lot of the emission reductions from industry came because of previous regulations. He hopes the new round of regulations will spark even more emission cuts, helping the environment, but also making the industries more efficient. Brett? Ed Henry Love in the North Lawn. Ed, thank you.